Well, and welcome back to Zero Escape <laughs> Virtual re Last Reward. The old woman. Oh yeah? Back to manual mode. She's lying silently further in the bed for us. If there wasn't a blood stain on her chest and arms, she looked peaceful expression. Would have fooled most people into thinking she was asleep. The blood was dried and darkened. Now it looks like it's another stain. And then when I noticed... Uh... So she had a wristband. Hmm. It seems remarkably clean. Yeah, for some reason, there's no blood Maybe in this she part. she had something on her wrist. A watch, perhaps. A yes. watch? You mean like one that can count up to nine and has colors and pairs and solos? It was likely removed after she was killed. That would account for the lack of blood splatter on her wrist. Okay, you're like super suspicious now. I don't want to suspect you, but you make it very hard not to suspect you. I don't know, just looking at some kind of wide watch thing. Isn't a woman's watch supposed to be you thinner? You raise a good point. Perhaps it was some kind of jewelry? It's, it's obviously the wristband things. Jewelry, you mean like a bracelet or something? Of course. Why didn't I see it sooner? I saw it instantly, buddy. Of course, it's pretty obvious. Same size as our bracelet. It looks like the exact same width. That would mean she was wearing the bracelet when she was killed. She was a participant like Are us. Are you sure? This old woman, a player in the nonary game. Okay, is something oh, wrong? No, nothing. If you're correct, then where did the thief hide the stolen bracelet? Obviously, they're wearing it. We were quite thorough during our earlier search. But I know that I saw nothing, and none of the others reported finding a bracelet either. Then that means they've been holding it the whole time. They probably that would seem sent. likely. Wait, they've been carrying it around in the sense the chronomatic drawer would pick it up. Without the right combination of bracelets, the secondary will So my suspect is not only a killer and a thief, but a skilled imposter as well. What are After you saying? After killing the old woman. They put on her bracelet. In fact, it is entirely possible they are wearing it still. So they're either like Clover or UK, unless they are one of the other ones. I mean, a solo would be easier, right? So it could be K. K is probably prime suspect. It could be Timmy OG. Uh, he was a solo the first round. It could be Luna. And who was the other solo? Alice. So those are possibilities. Yes, that would make sense. The killer running around with the old lady's yes. bracelet. You're telling me they're probably wearing right. it. Why Do you though? Remember what Zero Junior told us? Something about how the bracelet will come off if the wearer's heart stops. I don't recall the exact words, but in any event, once the old woman had died, her bracelet would have detached, allowing the killer to easily collect it. So that they could participate in the nonary game, I imagine. I suspect what? the killer was someone who was not originally intended to be a participant. So they're not Zero. For whatever reason, however, they were willing to go to great lengths to ensure that they were. To that end, they killed the old woman, who was one of the original participants, and took her place. Uh, I'm so confused, but why would somebody that? do that? I have no idea. I don't have an idea either, Kay. I mean, they're probably Certainly, not serious. they must have a goal of some sort. You would have to be mad to choose to come here. Uh, Kay, you are still being suspicious. But as to what that goal is, and how the killer intends to achieve it, I'm afraid I do not have even speculation. That's have interesting. you noticed something? Blood over this lady's arms. Exact same right. Since where she was wearing the bracelet and stolen right. blood. None of us were wearing bloody bracelets. Sigma, please tell me you're kidding. The killer would have, of course, wiped the blood off. Only a fool would walk around with a bracelet covered in blood. You're saying they yes. cleaned it? Have you discovered something? How?
Oh my god, I know how we can identify the oh. killer. We just need this Lumerex stuff. Doesn't even matter how much you clean, it should have uh -huh. a trace of I see. That could very well work. Let's do it then! We should have everyone gather in the rec room then. That is where the luminol was, I believe. Yep. We need to finish off cork there. We still need to go to the infirmary and begin green door. Once we've done all that, we should head back to the B floor to meet Understood. with everybody. Shall we go there? Yes. Wow, that's so smart. I actually missed that. I'm gonna minimize this quick. Just go there, game. I hate this part of it. It's so dumb. <laughs> Three doors here. The same here. as what we found on the other side of the blue door. Yeah, you can just like transition to these points there and have me know what's happening. Maybe I'm over or underestimating how confusing this stuff is, but hey, it's still like a look at these two. So it does. Here. The center and rightmost doors both say open. Perhaps the layout here is different. Mm, there has to be a better way to do this. Whatever. Let's get going through the right door. Is this not the rec room? Please not everybody be uh, That's not the rec room, is it? It's not the rec room. Ah! Oh, what room that is it? Looks this? like a workbench of some. You mean some sort? Well, we'll have to find Quark on the workbench. Oh, we're still looking for Quark, I see. Let's go check Very out well. the fire. Nothing. He's not here either. Okay. How is it going over there? Okay. Can you hear me? Was Kay dead when they had the suicide thing? I don't remember. Kay bent over his back to me and peered under the thing of the workbench. What the hell? I walked towards him and, as I spoke. As a man was going there. Oh, nothing. Okay, you've been super fucking suspicious from when you betrayed fucking Alice. Like, Clover would have never done that, which is what gave me a super hard beat on you. I bent down and saw something that appeared like a safe. It's empty. Yes. There was something no, here before. it was empty when I found it. Yes. Was it? Then what are you doing in the safe? thinking. Specifically, I was thinking about who opened this safe. Wasn't... Had it been the team that got through the green door? I think it was Dio, Fi, and no, Clover. That's unlikely. When we met up with Dio, he told us that he had been in the treatment center. The nameplate on this door says this is the Gollum Bay, however. Mm, I believe that's that is going... the case. Which, as you can see, is why I was puzzled. If Dio, Fi, and Clover did not open this safe, there's no point in thinking about we should head yes. back. Yes, there was another unlocked door, wasn't there? Yeah, let's try that one then. <sighs> Man, this game. The treatment center, we know what this one kind of looks like. This is center, the room huh? that Dio visited. Don't think it's kind of strange. Until now, the chromatic door has led to a single room. Why are there two rooms on the other side of the An green door? An excellent question. It's probably for my gameplay here as a player. We can talk about it later, I guess. We should see if we know anything. Kay and I split up and we began to look for the place where Corp was hiding. And small hole through there. And what's these? They must be the treatment pods Dio mentioned. The window, we're covering frost inside. Shall we open see. it? Sure, might as well write it. We have time. Is it Quark? 
Or is it somebody else? Or is it nothing? What? Cork. No, no. His bracelet. Oh my god. Hold on, Sigma. Calm down. Look at his chest. Can Let's see, breathing. I quickly press a finger on his wrist. Faint bit of heartbeat is there. He's alive. He's still alive. What a relief. I'm so glad to know he's safe. I laugh out and grab K and a hug. At least we've managed it. I, he pats me on the back and shared. I thought I might we're leaving a chuckle. He's alive, but why is this bracelet so off? Seeing here. Our Zero Junior said it would only come off if you were dead. Perhaps Zero Senior took it off? Wait, I have what? No idea. His heart rate reads zero for a bit then. Maybe Zero Senior brought Quark here and put him in this pod to. Blah. Well, uh, even if he did, we don't have anything to this know why. This is for medical treatment. Perhaps Quark has contracted some sort of illness. Yep. Sick. Or how yeah, would I know that? In any event, we should return and let the rest of our companions know that we found Quark. I imagine Tenmyoji in particular will be pleased. We should bring Quark with us. Yeah, bad. Do you think you no. can carry I believe it would be best to leave Quark here. As I mentioned, there is a chance he has fallen ill. If so, then removing him from the pod would be dangerous. Uh, the treatment he is currently undergoing could be compromised. I'll close okay. the pod's cover then. Is that alright? Sure. <laughs> Wait, just thought of something. Are you sure he's gonna be alright? Well, what happens if he wakes up? He could open the He'll thing outside. I noticed a lever inside that can be used to open the cover. So long as no one locks the pod, he should be able to leave whenever he wants. If somebody locks him in there, yes, he'll be screwed. That is what I said, but you needn't worry. You see? I have not engaged the lock. Okay, then leave now, first, buddy. We should return to the floor B warehouse. Okay, let's I get going. The others are already there. Yeah, let's get going. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's to show where we're going in the case, so it serves a purpose. It's just the trade-offs, man. late you're one to talk how much earlier did you get back again i'd be surprised if you searched at all yeah oh, clover and ten Miyoji still aren't back so you find anything yep we found the kid yeah, yeah we sure well, did go on, spill it explain how we found quark in the treatment center i see well that's good to hear jerk making we us should all go worried. back and watch him then there is more and that is? There is still some cause for concern. Just spit it out. Quark may have contracted an illness of some sort. As such, he has been left in the treatment Oh, that's what we're talking about. Will he be all right? <laughs> yeah, he probably. probably will. Do you even? Whatever. At least we found him. Pretty lucky he's alive, too. What do you mean by that? I mean what I said, genius. I'm glad he's not dead, aren't you? As equivocal as ever, I... How kind of you to say so. So, was Quark all you found? The way nope. you were talking made it sound like there was something else. We found that somebody stole a bracelet. I'll explain after we get to him. We Clover Black. There's something I need to ask you first. Oh yeah, that's right. Luna and Alice are dead. When we went through the green door, we did search Two? through different no, rooms. No, just the treatment center. I see, then there's What do you mean, one. the other one? I know that when we got to the intersection of three doors, Ken and I went through two of these doors, were unlocked. You guys went to the treatment center, green door, and the other door Who was. Could have opened it? Don't look at me. I told you, we only opened the one that went to the treatment center. Could it have been Zero Senior? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. So did you and Kay go through the other door? Yep, we totally there. did. It appeared Nothing. to be some sort of room for servicing something. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> So what the hell was whoever opened that door looking for? Who knows? 
I still think it is pretty suspicious. Tony, no, Yoji, and Clover are running rather late. Oh, they're fucking dead. Should we go and look for them? Yeah, no, there's something I want to check. It's never first. easy with you, is it? Well, let's get it over with. Don't tell me they're fucking dead already. Huh. This is the rec room. Dio and I came here earlier when we were looking for Quark. So why are we here? Was there something here you needed to see? Yeah, we need to see the bracelets. I have nothing. Instead, I made my way over to the cabinet, and I inside I pulled the lane and flipped it open. It made the room dark. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Are you gonna start telling ghost stories or something? It is gonna be the scariest <laughs> ghost stories. You're kidding me, right? Show me how brave you stick out your bracelet. You two bracelets? Fly. Yep. I wanna see what something that? there. I mean, the bottom side, the side that doesn't display on it. Come on, you really gotta make I know what slants. you mean. What I'm asking is what the hell you think you're... Just do it. Not so hard. Should I also participate? Yes. No, okay, you're fine. Your place is a little different than ours. I'll make... I'll make... I'll join just to be fair, so... Brief moment of hesitation, DOFI stuck out their arms, and my and poor there. This okay? Yep, just hold on a moment. And then we poured it. I pull out the thing from my pocket and spread it across the thread. Ugh! Cold! What the hell, man? Dio jerked his arm and shut it. I didn't see anything glow. Fi spread so it was clean. Mine was That forced. leaves only Dio. Wait, what are you talking about? I'll explain in a minute. Just show me your bracelet. Something wrong. Show me your bracelet. Come on, Dio. We don't Why do have time. I have to do what you tell me to? Because I'm trying to prove your innocence. Like hell you are. I don't know what you're looking for. But you're not going to find it on me. Well, if I don't find it, then you're guilty. Show me your No. Arm. You don't get to order me around. I have rights. You don't have rights in this totalitarian society. As he spoke, Dio made a break for the exit. He didn't get far. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dio. <laughs> he spun around in the exit and stop what? him. Don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Please stop him. Three of us left on Dio. Dio is always a freaking hard one. Oh my god, this animation is not too bad actually for this. I knew it. It's bracelet glowing. That means. Let me go! Get off of me, you so fuckers! So he killed somebody to be in this game? Why? <laughs> Dio, you killed the old no, lady. You don't understand. This is all some kind of a mistake. Shit. What's going on here? He killed the old lady to be in the game, or he got the bracelet of the old lady. I think Someone. it's about time you gave us the full story. As quickly as explained to uh, Fi and K, I had noticed the old lady's wrists. So the person with the bloody bracelet would have to be the person who killed her. They obtained the bloody bracelet, that's as much as we can say, but yeah, exactly. Even if you wipe it off, you can figure out the limiter still reacts to the blood, it looks like it was right. We got Izio, you might have to confess, well... <laughs> Alright, fine. You caught me. I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Why? Zero? No. I was under orders. I was sent here to... to do... Just tell something. me what you were told here to do. Who what gave was that? you this order? I'll die before I tell you. <sighs> Dio, why do you have to be so freaking hard? So your orders were more important than Alice's and Luna's oh, life? Oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> let's get plenty for here, everybody. I killed everybody. the old lady, but that's it. I don't know anything about what happened to Alice and Luna. Try oh, carefully, you. Sigma. This man is not to be trusted. He has already shown he is willing to lie and kill. That's true, I guess. Come on, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Even if we do believe you, you're still a killer. You just haven't killed as many people. Exactly. He should be restrained somehow. If we leave him be, he may well kill again. I don't like trusting Kay for that. Is there a room we can lock or anything? Ah, perhaps we could put him in one of the treatment pods. Once we've locked it, he should be unable to escape. Yeah. Hey, wait! I'll be good, I, I promise! I think you're on to something. Okay, let's do Come something. Come on, please! Hey, listen to me! We'll let you out 
When the white doors open, something we need to go. Okay. Don't fuck okay. with me, you guys. There's no way in hell I'm going in that thing. Let go. Let me go. God damn it! I told you assholes to let me go. You can't do this. I totally can, stop. and I will. Stop! Please stop! Please no! Dun dun dun. Thing. I said open it, god damn it! I don't think so. You're gonna pay for this! I know, but whatever. For this summer we'll fight. I figure we're out where the murder was. We found Quark. Now all that's left to do is find Clover and Tenmyoji. Yep. yep. Why don't we head back to the warehouse and start from there? Yep. I also looked up who Gia's voice actor is. They are from Bleach, but they're not Ichigo. They're, I think, uh, the commanding officer of Squad 13. For a fun fact. They may have already returned. Good Let's point. Go. I feel like everybody's gonna be dead soon. Still annoying. Looks Perhaps like they're they back here. Now we gotta look for them. How much time until the white doors open? Fifty minutes. Then I don't think we really need to hurry yet. Why don't we wait a little longer? For all we know, they're on their way back right now. Can I not add? By the way. There was something I wanted to ask you guys about. What's that? Yeah. yeah. Quark's bracelet. When we found him in the pod, he wasn't wearing it. Yep, that's concerning. Why? Shit. How should Presumably, I know? Presumably, it had been taken off before we found him. So we have no idea where it is. Pretty see, much. That's not good. Without that bracelet, we won't be able to continue the game. We need three bracelets to open the secondary door. If we lose one. Oh yeah, that's right. We won't be able to yeah. go to the secondary door. I forgot about that. Who is paired up with Quark? Quark's bracelet should be a red solo. That would mean he'd be with the cyan pair. And who is Clover and Tenmyoji. Oh my god, they're fucking screwed. The two people who are missing. Quark's bracelet is gone, and his two teammates have disappeared. What the hell is going on? I just mean Clover Tenmyoji well, is Well, if they present. found Quark before you did. Yeah, there's a good chance they did. I doubt Tenmyoji would do that, but we'll see. Why aren't they back yet? Perhaps they've already gone through the white door. They can't. No, that's impossible. The primary door is not open. someone opening. opened one of them. I don't know. No, that's but it's happened logical. Before. Remember the three doors on the other side? Someone made one of them open. Perhaps this is the same thing. Uh, it feels like a stretch map, but it's against yes, the rules. Yes, I know. But if the person opening the doors is Zero Senior, do you really think the rules matter? A little Zero bit Senior there. Zero Senior controls the entire game. So are you saying Clover or Tenmyoji is Zero Senior? It is a possibility. It, it would explain is, why yeah. they still haven't shown up. Could they really have taken Quark's bracelet and gone through one of the white doors? If we do, they know what they went in without the rest of us. So I would assume. Uh, let's do it. This is all a spectacle. Maybe we should go looking for them again. One of us can stay here in case we miss okay. them coming back. I'll stay. Oh my god, if I don't Sibu, die. I will go see if we can find them then. Don't kill Make me, Make sure Kay. you get back five minutes before the door opens, alright? Okay, oh. let's get going. And don't forget to bring Dio with you. Oh, that's always fun. Got a lot to cover here. Of course. Did we go on this one before? I don't remember. 
This is a pantry. So it would appear. I don't think we've been in this one, so this has food for us, right? Look at there. When we started here. looking for Quark, they were sent off to search everything beyond the red door, which would have meant this room. Not going to do us any good hanging around here. Let's head Very upstairs. Well. through this time, the gray one. Let's get going. Scotch. I thought we'd find him drinking here. We look around and I notice Kay acting strangely. Story shifting the alcohol in a way I probably describe as blank. It could actually see his eyes. What's up? You want to drink oh, or something? No. Well, I would enjoy a drink, but this mask. That's right. Sorry. S sucks. Honestly. I gotta get used to suits, kind of forgetting you're wearing one. Why the heck did they make you wear that mask anyways? You still don't remember anything? Well, actually, I... I did remember a little. Okay, what is it, yes. buddy? My you father. Remember? Your father, when did you remember that? Did it pop out Please, of Please, don't joke. This is serious. Okay. So I wasn't joking. I'll remember who your yes. father was. What about I your mom? Don't seem to have one. I. I. Your father oh. raised you. Okay, stop for a moment and then calm, fold his arms in his in front of himself. I was raised in the facility where my father worked. He was the only person who worked there, which meant he was the only person I saw until I was older. That had been the situation for as long as I could remember, though. He has a bunny. So this I is never thought it odd. I wouldn't, he wouldn't allow me to go near him while he was working. Only a few times he worked, sometimes while he slept. As such, the only way to communicate with him was the education software he gave me. Oh my god, he's a robot. I suddenly fairly expressionless kid when my, we develop body language with each other no one can communicate as such. Once I learned to read and write I began to realize the situation wasn't normal. Many of my books mention a mother as a part of the family symbol. Mothers, father, and children ate meals together and, there, and soon I found myself longing for my own mother, someone who would always be with me, who would scold me if I did something wrong at night, they would read me uh, bef read to me before bedtime, and only my mother would likely go through this happiness. For the first time in my life, I asked my father for something. He was working as usual, was making his way towards the bedroom, and I told him I asked for mom, and he suddenly was not and said okay. I remember this day, how happy I was at that moment. A few moments later, my he called me to the laboratory, and it's the first time I ever he ever done anything like that. My heart began to beat quickly. Standing next to him was a young woman. I hope it's going. And he began to say her name and ID, and he dashed. He gave me a robot to play the part of mother. I didn't want to. A mother that just was a machine who is what I who did what a human told them. I told my father that he looked surprised for the first time in my life. And he frowned and coughed and I 
me and been a whiner. He never scolded me for anything before. First, a surprise, then angry, and then hot tears streamed down my face. So is he human then? My father ordered the robot to take care of me and swoop us from the lab. The robot was confined and she smiled and spoke to me as if she was a real human, but I refused to answer her and left my room. We could talk to a robot, it will respond, but in the end we still were talking to a machine, not a person. It was what I wanted, it still, I still had the education software my father gave me. Educational software, oh, okay, that's a different software thing, I'd like something to teach me that. I ignored the robot was trying to take care of me, it would only look sad, it could only really... Couldn't really be sad, of course. It was only a program to look like that. The robot was facade and like that. I'm still thinking K is a robot here. After that, I stopped expecting anything from my father. We never spoke again and began easy enough to another. I lived as a, my life as he didn't exist. Perhaps it's strange, but I continued to live without him. I never considered leaving. Perhaps it's in depth of my heart long relationship with my father eventually changed when I was 18. I left the room one morning to find a woman standing outside. She was the first human I have seen apart from my father and I understood the surprise. That moment I thought my father had created a new robe and I told her that she laughed and explained the situation. It turned out she was a very mysterious woman or person. She was much older than I was, but something in the way she behaved was more girly. She she would tell me stories of the world outside, and I never was sure if she was telling the truth or making up fantastical lies. Unfortunately, the truth didn't matter. I loved her stories. She wasn't helping my father directly with her research. I spent most time with her. Before long, I discovered she knew my father when she was younger. She told me the stories of how her father fell in love with a younger, or how she, how he fell in love as a younger man and began to imagine the person he fell in love with had been her and she was secretly my mother. After we settled as long routine dramatically changed. Was in this place and we started eating with each other before then I never shared a meal with anyone in 18 years. She scolded me for my table manners and miraculously lack of if I was going to eat with others, she then would need to be more polite. However, I ate along the entire manner and never had anything about. Father got in trouble too. He made many mistakes reading through the research papers during the dinner. Looked surprised and embarrassed on the face and burst into laughter. I can remember the last time my father shared a laugh with it might have been the first time the room was considered a living room changed before it was another room, but she made it more comfortable. After we finished our dinner, we sat on the sofa and relaxed with her and my father. And then, where was the one that shares the most? For a while, every day we were family. I longed for ever since I was a child. And her suggest I started to help my father's research, he spent specialized in genetic engineering and I discovered and interested in it as well. Time faded along and I lost myself in my research. Now we worked and studied together. My father and I did a great deal of work. For the first time in our life we began to speak with one another like father and son. I was very impressed with him and something I learned felt surge of happiness and drove me to study harder. My days felt full and right and mostly happy and important. So this is the old lady, but this is like Dio here, which is weird. But I'm confused here. Four years, in the blink of the eye until one day, when him and my father was speaking to the woman in the laboratory, their tone was serious, so I listened closely and curiously as they were talking. Then I heard her say she had a plan to give her life achievement goal. It was very clear that she wasn't 
be metaphorical. She would have to die. That was shock. This research I threw myself into lead to her death. Then I asked my father to stop the research immediately. He refused to listen. She agreed with him. She told me that she had been prepared for what she had to do since the day she came into this facility. My father knew it was the beginning of well. Angry and disappointed, I began to investigate what the exact research was working towards. Perhaps I could figure out the way she could live. I discovered much more than I bargained for, and I began. I learned the ultimate success of my father's research would require a good deal of sacrifice. I learned that my own existence was just another part of the project. I was created to function as my father's spirit. Are we a fucking clone? We're either a clone or a robot or something. He did, if he died in research, I was intended to continue in his place. I was stunned. So we're like a clone, right? And I fierce with my father and with her and even with the research I poured myself into for four years. There was one thing that to do, destroy the facility and my father's horrible research all at once. I made a plan to destroy the main reactor with the entire facility, but she saw right through me. My father was livid and locked me into my room and the research complete. All I could do now was might stop me. She did her best to convince me but that I misunderstood and that everything was fine. As much as I wanted to believe her, I remember in the back of my mind that she had always pushed me to come involved in my father's research. Had that been the earnest desire to give me something to do with my life or I couldn't bring myself to hate her later. I had a reason to live. Even if she conspired with my father to mold me into his replacements, the warmth she had shown me had been real and she made me feel as if though I was in a real family. And that's something that I wouldn't have given up for the world. I pleaded with her to leave and she quietly shook her head. And I was someone very special to her. She told me he could save her life once and she felt that death would help repay her the favor. She would have likely nothing more to marry him and love or live a happy normal life together, but she couldn't for the sake of him. She said for the sake of the future she wanted, she was determined to see her father's research to success. Then I realized that although she was the most important person in my life, there was someone more important than me and hers. She tried to explain beyond what we could see its future where no one would die and I refused to listen. But go was a potential future to me. It was what I had now that I wanted. I couldn't stand thinking that she wanted to give her life for a man I'd never even seen. I sh shut myself off from the world. Perhaps that's why I lost my memory. Okay, let out deep sigh. I'm sorry. I lost track of time. Not okay. having any memories is less than desirable. But it could be argued that regaining them is almost more taxing. How much further do we have to go? Well, right away. You remember almost everything no, you forgot. The details are still indistinct, especially more recent events. Mm. Um, Sigma, I'm sorry, but would it be all right if I laid down for a bit? Okay, what's wrong? I don't feel very well. It must be because I remembered so much so quickly. My head feels like it's going to explode. Please don't go, Psycho. Yes. Are you okay? I think I just need to rest. Okay, take as long as you need. I'll go look I'm for the energy clover. Thank you. Okay, lowered himself heavily on the sofa and then in the room. Well, I guess better get moving then. Stepped out of the door and nearly ran to fly. What are you doing here? You were supposed to wait until they yeah, went back. Yeah, I know. I just decided to go check on you guys. Okay. Yeah, we'll cover that next time. It's 40 minutes and it's the holidays, so you guys take care. So, you have a great day. Hope you have a great holidays. I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.